Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today it's me, Pierre Farrugia, and I'm starting this vlog reading a book, which is called The Victoria Lines by Ray Kakiya Zammit. Because today I'm going to take you all the way from one, ha one side of the country to the other side of the country. Uh, the track is going to be around 17-18 uh, kilometers, but the lines are long 12 kilometers. Uh, I got most of the information from this book. It was suggested to me by the friends of the Victoria Lines. It's a Facebook group uh, and has a lot to, lots of information on it. Uh, so let's start this vlog and we'll start by showing you how beautiful it is. Well, uh, we're going to start this vlog from Imjar. That bay down there is for Mary. And we're going to follow this wall, which is the Victoria Lines, which was a defensive line, which caused the uh, northwest uh, wall or defense up to Madlena, where we're going to stop our vlog. This wall was done as a defensive position for, uh, for Valletta, for where there were the ports, so they can, uh, if uh, the enemy will attack from this side, there will be a wall and soldiers to confront them and stop them from doing damage at the back of the fort because by the sea there were a lot of forts so let's start and going up this uh, this place from the start we can see we have a pillbox which we can visit to make our way and i remove my backpack oh. It's made exactly my size. Eh? The roof has correct. Yeah? It was lined with metal. But I can show you the views and especially uh, this where the machine gun turrets used to be placed uh, and it has a 180 degree uh, visual. Eh? Let me show you better. These are the two openings, and if you look from here, look at the view you have from here. And if I look from this side, I think you can better view of Imjar. Eh? But now, let's make our way to the wall. So we continue our vlog. Eh? And let's start the proper trail. Eh? As always, I need to thank my sponsors, which are JM Motors, a very honest car dealer in Malta, my safety device, Zolio, um, that is a solid light messenger with a SOS button, and also Dickens for helping my channel out with my microphones, with the DJI microphones. Yeah? And today is going to be an amazing journey. Yeah? From here you can see Arabara, even go so how nice it is the views from here. Unfortunately, some places they have some damage. Eh? If I'm not mistaken, is a searchlight a post. Eh? The wall is here. We're following the wall, and here cut into the rock one can find this place, eh? which was a searchlight. Uh, defensive position with uh, engines to supply the electricity for the searchlight eh? it was like a small base even we can find uh, these holes where one can shoot a rifle from and we continue our way and here there is another uh, military installation eh? And if we continue this part here, we'll find some steps eh, to go up. Some parts of the wall are totally uh, damaged and falling apart, which is a pity, because this is uh, a major history monument for Malta. Here we have a pathway made of stone and some concrete, and here we have some steps eh, that were used by the soldiers from here 
to get to that installations up there. Eh? And here we find some concrete, unfortunately. Something is interesting about the Victoria Lines, if you look, Carla. They have this very dark and with stones concrete in it. Eh? And as I told you, everywhere you will find some military installation. Eh? And this is surely not leave no trace, eh? which is a very pity. This part of our history. Eh? And all of them had some amazing views. Eh? Down there is where we started. That is the wall. We came to that searchlight post. We did all the way here. And we are continuing following the wall. Now I reach this opening where there's this house. And the trail continues from here. Sometimes a little bit difficult to find exactly where the trail is. I was hoping to find more markers on the road. Eh? Maybe they start doing them and they didn't do whole trail. Eh? But I will have time to check this out. This part here has an opening. I think it was done at that time. Eh? But you don't find a lot of openings going out because that is somewhere from where the enemy can come in. Eh? Can find that uh, there is something written here, eh? right center. I think this is right center, but this one I cannot read it. Eh? But even if we look from here, look at the one. So today is going to be wall and views. Eh? And countryside. The view are amazing. You see Gozo, Park Al Maestral, Araba, the reddish and blue. Look how beautiful it is. Eh? And now we are walking on tarmac again. These are the Victoria lines here because with the road, which is a lot higher than the ground, they are nearly buried down. Eh? This is a little bit a shame. I'm still following the Victoria line, sir. And now we are going downhill. Eh? And following the wall out here. The wall is non existent, unfortunately. Many are trying to make the Victoria lines a more mountain, a more official trail, eh? which will be a beautiful thing. Eh? In this area here, I got lost uh, and I am on the paved road again. Hopefully, I will pass like this and where's this yellow cane, if you can see it, and then continue to the fort. Eh? But here, they are all fields, eh? so it's better to walk on the road because I don't want trouble. Now I am passing from a dirt road, a small shortcut. Because now I'm headed to Fort Benjamin. And hopefully, like this, I will be on the right path. Eh? The road there, going downhill, is where I lost the wall. Then I got lost in the field, so I had to go out, do all this detour here. And I am going close to Fort Benjamin. Now I'm going down the hill again. And hopefully I'm on the right track because I'm not finding any signs eh, where one can pass, which is making this uh, track a little bit difficult as navigation wise. Eh? Up there is where I left the wall. Eh? Now I can see some wall here eh, where there's the trees. Maybe it was like this eh, on this top and then it continues up here, but here is private. So for now. I'm moving by this road eh? to continue that I got lost. Then the GPS showed me the other race too. I had to climb this cliff here, eh? which is not easy. It was a little bit difficult. But we reached the top and at least I can continue the trail. Eh? 
It's very, very windy. You can see the forest from here. Finally, I find part of the Victoria Lines again. Uh, so at least I am on the right track. Eh? I am on top of the ridge again. The fort is there, so we are going in the right direction. Eh? This part here, instead of having a wall, they just dug a path inside the rock. Eh? Maybe I suggest you come here with long trousers, but it's still very hot because you end up scratching all your legs after getting lost around 10 times. The problem was there, crossing to here, then I follow the ridge, then here it, it's private land, you cannot pass, then private land, and now finally I find the fort. And hopefully I can continue around the fort. And this is Fort Bin Gemma. It's part of the fortification you will find at this area. Here finally we find the Victoria Lines again, this wall here. And up there is where we start with it all the way up there, here, 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 and now this fort here. Eh? Because the wall was, its purpose was to connect the fort one by the other, so there will be no in between. Now I've reached Fort Benjamar. I am on its ditch. It's one of where the cannons were placed. And it had a very long and wide reach, uh, unobstructed views from here. I assume this was the main gate for the fort. Going on this arch, here I assume once there was a bridge. And uh, this is the ditch. And now let's continue on. Hope sound is still okay because I lost uh, the wind map of my microphone. When I fell down, it must uh, get broken off. Now I have reached the other side of Bonjama. And we have some different views now. And now I can see that the Victoria lines continue on this side. Now we have found the wall again, or not along the wall. That part there, I repeat myself, was a nightmare. And I met one guy here from Austria. Even him got lost in that area. It's a little bit difficult. Right here. I don't think these are cartridges are because they are very wide. But who knows? Maybe Megalith Hunter can give us some knowledge here. Because she is very good at this. Here we are pausing between the wall and there is a very nice area I'm really enjoying this trip apart from that when I was lost and even like this I can make some ground because I slowed down a lot there that area there this part here the wall here is in very good state I will have to have some shade as well which is always a uh, welcome. But look at the wall. Eh? This part here, instead of building a wall, since here is a sheer drop, uh, they cut out the rock. So soldiers can have some shielding from an enemy. And if you look like this, uh, you can see the views. Huh? Here. You cannot see the wall, but there are some very nice trees. Look how beautiful this area is, they're all green. It's very nice this place, I can hear the birds. I'm really enjoying this part. 
and I can see the water if I move to this side like this I found the water again which means I'm on a good spot here I'm passing with the spot on this side I have the wall and here I have rock cutting from damage or maybe from the structure here and hopefully I don't find a lot of thorns eh? which I think these are thorns I'm getting stuck in towards here It's not good These towards ah. Hopefully there is not a whole lot more part of these beautiful views Ara. you can see this chapel Ara, here has been Gemma and here is uh, been Gemma necropolis that wall there is the Victoria line so we have to continue until we reach that part which is very very nice eh? from here Ara, one can see finally a sign Victoria lines Trail one. You see how nice they are. Imagine all the trails will be like this. Eh? So let's continue here. Till now, I made eight kilometers. Temperature is a whopping 30 degrees. And we are talking second week of October. It's super hot, eh? see. And now we are going down for the Benjamma uh, part, eh? which is very very nice. Let me show you when I pass this part here. This is the Victoria Lines with all the firing uh, musket holes there, and these like uh, caves here. They are are like catacombs. Eh? This uh, I have a video called the Benjamma Necropolis because here is full 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 of burial chambers. Eh? So, and if you can see here, even on that side is full, Ara, how many there are. Now we reach this part, Ara. you can see the musket shooting ports are here, one by one. And here, we are continue on the bridge. Eh? How nice it is. Eh? Let's continue on. Eh? From here one can see the ports in the wall Ara, where they can shoot the muskets. It's been Gemma Chapel are there. This is the way to go to the to the catacombs. Ara. And here is the wall. I'm, I'm above the wall exactly. And now let's continue our way here and I'll show you Ara. I can show you, look, how nice they are. May I remind you to go and uh, check Friends of the Victoria Lines, which is very, very good info, and the book Victoria Lines, eh? the one I showed you before. Eh? Look at the ports here, eh? and from here one can get a view, so it can shoot with an angle eh? and here we have some nice trees eh? this is the Dweira lines if I'm not mistaken in this part here this part here is in work with those uh, blazers eh? with the white and red if I'm not mistaken two lines is you're on a good path crossed you you made a mistake in the path. Eh? I 
Yeah, you know, I'm at the edge of walking. You can see the fault are there. And here, some amazing views. Eh? Another very important thing to consider here. Till now, I didn't find anywhere where I can buy something to drink. Eh? So, bring your own water. Because during the trail, I don't think you can find any shops where to buy either food or drinks. But everywhere you go, the views, you cannot complain. Eh? Because we always on the cliff, eh, on the fault. This part here uh, is a ditch. And this part of the Tuera lines, if I'm not mistaken. And here we will find more fortification and more defensive positions like batteries, which we we'll hopefully will see soon. This is the ditch, you can see very sharp cut into the rock. And here one can find these old military installations here that now they are being used by private citizens but look how nice it is huh? there's that guy like underground here amazing yeah uh, where they used to store ammunition down here and above here, if I'm not mistaken, where cannons used to be fixed. Eh? Look here. And here there were no trees, so it had a uh, great view. Eh? And here we have the ditch again. And if we move from one to the other, we can find another post uh. you see? this is the ditch and down there you can find even uh, they cut into the rock and made some st other storages uh. and there you can find some of the fortification uh. here we have more uh, of those military installations are third scout group. Because here at Vera Lines, then you have this dish running there. I'm, may I remind you that if you want some detailed history about this place, uh, go and uh, buy the book victoria lines is a uh, six or seven euro now i joined the road again uh, the victoria lines is still here uh, from here i can see i think in tarpa there uh, look how nice it is and it's very nice and quiet walk i don't know until now i reached the 10 kilometer mark eh? which is a lot eh? i am pushing forward hopefully Today, I think we will reach about 18 to 20 kilometers. Eh, which, you know, here I have to cross this main road here, uh, and it's very, very busy. It's always very dangerous uh, as well. So let's cross. Let's start. Look how dangerous. <laughs> to cross this road, stay great here uh, because. Look so funny, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the other road. Up there in the main road, when I crossed the road, I made a mistake. I should have gone to the other road, have more up and down. And now I found the Victoria Lines again and by the quarry going here. And now I can follow them till I go to the Egin in Talarusa. Soon we're going to find. Yeah, uh, Fort Mosta. 
I think the one here could be that large uh, battery from what I can see because Fort Mosta is after Regimental Arusa. Here is used by the scouts and I come many times here camping, yeah? very nice place. And hopefully we'll get re re reunited with the Victoria Lines again. Eh? Fine, we'll find the wall again, and I can see the wall from the outside again as well. Uh, maybe a Gentile Rus I can show you better. The one up there now is uh, Mo Fort Mosta. So now the wall uh, breaks and continues on the other side where there's another like pillbox there and we have to cross the road then we can follow the wall again here we have uh, lights traffic lights to cross the road so it must be more safer and easy the victoria lines again uh, let me show you from outside above look how it looks and here may I remind you scott the Talarusa, the girlfriend's garden, which is uh, like a park for all the family. The views are because when you are guarding something like this, you can see the enemy coming from very far away. Yeah? And like this, they cannot move to the port, yeah? where uh, all the important stuff was yeah? the ships troops, food, another nice feature here, there where there's the gate, it's uh, a nuclear shelter and from my read uh, it was used by uh, officers or high ranking people uh, in uh, during the war but fortunately it was never used eh? and this one goes down in steps until down here. Eh? Yeah. Let's continue. We are still following the wall, and Fort Mosta is in front of me, very close to the Matlina Fort. We can find this firing fort. Uh, they look that they have been done much later, maybe as maintenance, and the soldiers could fire through them. Now we made it to Fort Mostar. There's also a pillbox hidden down there. We are still moving with the wall. Here is obviously no out of bounds because it's used by the military. And we're going to go into the valley. And we go around the fort and see and go to Wittelasse, it's called the Valley of Honey I still have to take a little bit care about the navigation here there's some steps here yeah. well, here we found the pillbox so let's go inside and have a look Unfortunately, it's all with graffiti here. Here is the tower where they, shoot, where they used to shoot. Uh, it has this pillar sighting for reinforcement. And you have to take care because of your head. And this is the view they used to have. Uh, they had one. On each side. And now let's continue on the pity. It's in this state. Eh? Because from the outside looks very good. Pity that such hell is in this bad state. Eh? And now Let's find a way 
to continue our trek eh, because I have a very very long way to do. I'm moving around for the most time and I'm trying to find a path eh? because on the other side we will find a quarry where the Victoria lines has been demolished and then I have to go on the other side and find the wall again eh? now I have to go some scrambling around with the wall so that I continue my path around uh, Fort Foster eh? which is this one here so now I remove my camera because I need both hands eh? I'm making, I'm making my way down slowly, piece by piece. It's not difficult either. And we made it down. Eh? And here we can find the walls of Fort Mosta. Or Mosta Fort. Here I'm following the walls. Of the fort, the track is moderate, very moderate, nothing too difficult. But as you start getting uh, tired, you have to take more care because it's easier to make a mistake. These are some of the walls here yeah, of the fort. Unfortunately, the other part of the wall are giving way. Hope they do it fast because all the wall will fall down. Now I am in a labyrinth again. Eh? Oops, oops, oops. Go before. It's very hard going at eh, this part. You don't have to take care not to twist an anchor here. Here one can find such columns are with WD not 66 I think and anybody knows what they were for the boundary wall of the fort is there and we are moving this side eh? if i'm not mistaken because of this massive quarry all this part is missing and then it continues up there eh? i have to go on top of this bridge because uh, it's like it's a dam actually it, this is with the laser eh? how beautiful it is with the laser and it continues to this side there and I am going to continue exactly in the middle, I don't want to fall you can see uh, those that you find in them so. very very nice area so now I will get up and end in the quarry then I have what we call the Talatalla Uomo which you can imagine is going to be super hard after this 15 km walk but we will do it as we am doing the other things eh? now there was the quarry now I reach the hill called Talawamo and now I'm going up to the Victoria lines again here one can find some steps eh? Because up here, one will find uh, pillbox. Amazingly enough, right here, one can see that there are cartels eh? going up. I found two information boxes around. Right, the lot are the cartels. 
and pillbox, so I think second world war to pillbox. Look how long it is. And now, let's continue going up. Look how many drops it gave us here. And I think where there's that area, there is where I need to go. So I'm getting close. I found the Victoria Alliance again. Let me check how much I did you now. It's about over 17 kilometers. Eh? I think it's the longest walk I did this year. Eh? Anyone can tell me why the wall here is like built different. It's not like square blocks and clean like the other places. Although here it's a little bit better. But it's very, very different from up there here we have this uh, this fruit again how oh, nice they are and here if I'm not mistaken once uh, a friend of mine told us that a car skidded and then did destroying this piece of the Victoria lines and uh, the car ended somewhere here uh. It's a very, very bad situation. We are still following the wall, as you can imagine. And now we have to go down with the steps, go like this, and then go up again. Eh? And there uh, we are in Gargour, top of the world. Eh? Look at this valley, how beautiful it is. Eh? So let's continue because time is passing, eh? and my legs are getting tired eh? but now I will find stairs to go down you see and we have these fruits again look how nice anybody knows about these fruits please comment eh? how much they are normally if you find so many means they are not good to eat because somebody will have collected them and now at the end of these stairs we have like a dam or uh, I'm not sure if it's called a stop wall so we can continue on going down these steps here we are exactly in the middle of this beautiful valley area there's the steps there we came from. The valley. Very, very thick. I, you cannot walk in here. And now we we'll start going up. Look how beautiful from here. And we still have the wall left to go up. Let's continue. Because we are getting close now. Hopefully. Oh. To say it all, after 15-16 kilometers, I'm not feeling that bad. I thought I will be worse. Although, this steps is going to kill my breath. It is very, very steep. So the way I did it, like this and the skiller steps I am out of breath but hopefully last few now from this side I can see all the markora the sea Baharicha uh, so we are nearly done our trek like this one can have a view of these Victoria lines this wall that 12 kilometers long and cross this small town from one side to another this is the view from here and if I go to this side you can see the Victoria lines you know let's glory with this beautiful lighting and now let's continue because I'm getting hungry and the water finished 
remember I, I didn't find one single place where to buy a bottle of water eh? and three liters were not enough for me here one can see uh, that all this part has been rebuilt close to the old uh, Victoria lines even this cement area it's close to what they were using there eh? and hopefully when it will age it will look good eh? well done to the local council and all the entities of the government eh? for restoring places like this hopefully more they restore they will do it all this part here is closed or off because it's being repaired there and it goes as well on the other side so hopefully i will reach the other side and then up there is the Madlena fort where i have my car so let's go and continue this trek there's some nice caves down there on down there I'm making my way down and hopefully get road there so I join the Victoria Lines again because they will stop somewhere there then from there I will go my car which is parked up there because this part is all private eh? now here I found the wall again because I'm trying to keep as much to the wall as possible Walking down on these rocks, it's a little bit hard because they are just rocks. As you can see, there's no steps, no, no flat surface, so you have to move slowly and take care where you put your feet, eh? especially now that you start to begin a little bit tired, or I am a little bit tired now because I did nearly 20k you now. Came down. All this there, so one can find this musket port so that one can shoot at that time their musket river. And here we are inside the valley. Eh? Look how nice this valley is. Eh? Amazing, yeah. And now we have to a lot of stairs yeah? and the stairs here are very very steep that's how it looks from this side there uh, with these shooting ports at both ends and now I start going up and the stairs here are very very uh, steep yeah? go up. Imagine how many soldiers must have passed from here to go at this part here. There are opening at the bottom for water. These are the openings so they can shoot and not be shot at. The sun started going down, but it's getting late. But I have only last part. Eh? Now I reach the top, I'm still buffing. I have this villa here, and we have to pass between the villa and the wall eh? because we have very few hundred meters left. Eh? Hopefully here we reach the last defensive position eh? before we reach El Fort Madlier. Eh? Look how beautiful it is. Eh? We reach the last defensive post. Eh? Still with the base for the cannons. Eh? We have to. Then underground, 
very well concealed one can find this one here which is in a very bad bad state eh? here if we try to continue on it's impossible because then there's the gate uh, and they start private property so now let's head up here to Fort Madley you know where I have the car eh? and finally go to eat drink wash and sleep eh? while I'm doing my last 800 meters hopefully to the car I want to thank my sponsors as usual GM Motors car dealer a very honest car dealer here in Malta Zolio that makes my trips like today 20k I, ne I nearly uh, didn't meet anybody and uh, in some places didn't have reception with Zolio I can send both SMS and both to Sharon and lastly Dickens for the mics and for supporting this channel eh? with the sun going down finally I reach Madlena Rafa's Madlena it was a very very beautiful trek I recommend it to many people but not in summer today it was 30 degrees I drank 4 liters and I don't have anything to drink for the last one hour so I'm a little bit dehydrated if you want more information about the Victoria Lines go to visit Friends of the Victoria Lines it's a Facebook group and also you will find a picture of the book I bought about the Victoria Lines which has a lot a lot of information it costs about six to seven euros which is very very cheap but it's worth it until next time bye bye yeah?